Are we back in Beverly Hills? Yes. Is Axel Foley back? Yes. But most importantly, Eddie Murphy is back. What's going on people? Alex Thorne and I'm just a rock and roller who in his downtime likes to watch movies while wearing a bandana. And before I even get started with today's movie, I want to say happy 4th of July to everybody out there. And if you can like, comment and subscribe on this video, I would greatly appreciate it. Now, let's get to what I'm super excited about and that's Axel F. The Netflix exclusive release of Beverly Hills Cop 4. And in this newest entry, after his daughter's life is threatened, Axel Foley teams up with a new partner and some old pals to turn up the heat on a new conspiracy. If you're scared of Beverly Hills Cop 4 not holding up to your memories of 1 and 2, fear no more. This is is an amazing entry into the series. And I think more than anything, the magic of the original cast is there. See, in this Beverly Hills Cop movie, you have John Ashton back as Taggart, Judge Reinhold back as Billy Rosewood, Bronson Pinchot back as Serge, and Paul Reiser back as Jeffrey. And they all appear the way they should. And I say that because Axel is the star of this movie and there's never too long if any where he's not on that screen because there's somebody here who joins him who actually brings a presence to the screen just as strongly as Eddie Murphy and that's Kevin Bacon. Beyond all of that, the music, the music, my god is the music perfect not only that but the very first scene of this movie really retreads the first scene of the first movie but that's the only real time it's not like you're gonna get a banana in the tailpipe for a fourth time because it's the fourth movie and it's just retreading what others did no the first scene yes even the pointer sisters song is there but after that this is a very serviceable action movie. And around three fourths into the movie, there's also a surprise, like completely unexpected, not from this series, but definitely from another series. <laughs> I was cheering, my son was cheering because this person that shows up just brings good vibes right away. You know what I mean. Axel Foley in this edition has his daughter and it's his only daughter and they're estranged. And they're estranged because Axel Foley is a cop and he had to move his family away for cop reasons. But kids don't understand those things. They only understand that you are away and that's what strains their relationship. But she is a criminal defense attorney and he's a police officer and she defends people who sometimes are in the crosshairs of the police. So. They're at odds, and guess what? His daughter is in Beverly Hills, while Axel Foley is still in Detroit. But once his daughter gets threatened because, you know, something happens where she's a criminal defense attorney and the cops may not like who she's defending, and the old friends of Axel Foley get in trouble for certain reasons, Axel's gotta come back to Beverly Hills. While Beverly Hills was always about money and influence, now it's about money and influencers. I'm doing a giveaway right here on this channel's ranking video and you can enter it right now and with the subsequent videos by subscribing to the channel, liking the video and commenting your favorite Beverly Hills Cop movie down below. The winner will be announced on the ranking video and I'm gonna make sure that we give something real good away to my subscribers of this channel. So with that being said, I think we should get to the bandana rating for Netflix original Beverly Hills Cop Axel F. And I'm going to give this movie four bandanas out of five. It does its best to recapture 
what the 80s films did. It keeps Eddie Murphy's Axel Foley in focus throughout the entire movie. And Eddie feels at ease in this. This isn't like coming to America and he's not doing this over the top thing like he did in Dolomite. Nothing wrong with it. I know that was the character, but it was over the top throughout the entire movie. Eddie slips back into form here, unlike in Beverly Hills Cop 3 where there was missed moments where he could have been Axel Foley and really did his thing. He does them here. And that's why this movie gets four bandanas out of five. It is as good as you can get for people this age and bringing back a nostalgia act. And can we just say, I am so happy. There's a line at the end of this movie where Taggart tells Billy Rosewood, shoot bad guys. And that's all I want from my action movies. I don't need people flying. I don't need other dimensions. I don't need capes and I don't need shitty CGI. I need good guys shooting bad guys. And that's what Axel F. Beverly Hills Cop does. guys. Let me know what you think about the brand new Beverly Hills Cop on Netflix. Have you watched it? Are you looking forward to it? Does this review make you want to watch it? If you've seen it, do you agree with me? Let's talk about it. And don't forget that I will be awarding the winner of the Beverly Hills Cop DVD giveaway on the next video, ranking the Beverly Hills Cop movies from worst to best. And guess what? One of you guys are gonna get picked. I'm Alex Thorne, and you know what I gotta do. I gotta go blow off some fireworks, rank Beverly Hills Cop, and come back and review some movies for you. Happy Fourth. <laughs>